Welcome guys, welcome to Castles and Attics, my new episode, and basically what I've got for you today is we're going to talk about some arts and crafts pieces I found, some big old Blinko, some Victorian, um, some mid-century stuff, some carvings, and let's just dive right in, okay? I'm glad you're here. My name is Dwayne Butler, and basically I travel around Indiana, find some quality items, and I just like to show you what I pick, what I find, what I like to take to market, and just the way I do business. Hey, real quick, let's jump right in there, okay? Look at this little iron figure here. I don't know if you've seen this before. I haven't, so I bought him out of an antique shop. He's all iron, hand-painted. They said he was Joe Lewis, but uh, you know what? I've never seen one sell anywhere, and it, it actually says Joe Lewis around the bottom real quick there. But he's, he's holding his boxing gloves up. He's all iron. He's got to be turn of the century. But uh, what a what a pretty cool little piece. If anybody knows anything, you can let me know about him. But uh, for $30 uh, with 10% off, I thought I'd take a chance. Again, I've never seen that iron figurine. And how do you ever find something? You buy it once, you see it again. Hey, this was pretty cool. Let's stick a little light up behind this. Here's a little mother of pearl. All hammered brass. A uh, little piece there. So this be a little light there and it shine through. Just a little decorative piece, a little bell. Doesn't work real well right now. It, but I thought it was a nice decorative piece. It'll sell easy for me. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Here's some carvings. Japanese little carving stands. And, and you know what's fabulous about these is the details. Look at these flowers. All chipped, carved. All put into work. And uh, for me, these aren't going anywhere. These are actually staying in my little collection. I'll use them for displays around the house. Speaking of carvings, this was $6 out of an antique shop. Look at this Italian carved little pooty figure. His wings are gone. His hat's all chipped off. He's been in a few battles. But boy, is he old. I mean, this guy, he's 100 years old there, all chipped and carved, and... Uh, what a rare little find for six bucks. He's just laying on a table full of stuff, and, and I feel like I pull a treasure hunt out, like, voila! Never seen one of those. Since we're talking about carvings and chippings, I have a pipe. We have a Meerschaum pipe. And you know, this is one of those items that is absolutely undervalued. Uh, made in Austria. Look at these wonderful little pieces of pipe that are all carved. Here's a guy with his dog, and he's sitting there whittling away, cutting some food up. Look at the details in the leaves. Can you see those in the trees? I mean, this is something you could buy on eBay for probably 50, 60 bucks. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Far better. A snakeskin case, all, all laid out for you. Just, just too cool. Hey, hand painted. Bavarian uh, Arts and Crafts Vase. These are some of my favorites to buy. I've got a nice collection of these now. Uh, I've, I've just collected them. I think they're well undervalued. And uh, I put good prices on them. And they really look good when they're all stacking up together. Another one of my favorites. You've seen me guys collected a few of these. Uh, okay. Here's a probably a little export piece. A uh, little jewelry casket box there with all your little pull drawers. It's got tree bark on it. All the way around. Neat little wood. Nice little export little box. Great little decorative piece for me. Easy $59 to $79. Paid five bucks for it. You know, just a nice profit. Walked into an antique shop. Bought some records out of there. You saw that. And uh, I bought this contemporary arts and crafts vase. You know why I know it's contemporary? Because it says $19.99. But isn't that cool? Just a great cabinet vase. They wanted $15. Uh, I'll put 39 to 49 on it, and I'll get more for it than I would for an old piece of uh, Roseville matte green. You know, that would be this size. I'd probably put 49 bucks on it, too, but uh, it has a little good, better look. Here's an arts and crafts vase, too, I'm pretty sure. Look at the turned piece. It's all been on a hand wheel. It's all turned. Pinch top. It's a little mauve. Still got to clean the uh, sticker residue off of that, but you can see where it's gotten size there. But that was six dollars. I thought it was kind of a nice buy. I get everything on. Oh, hey, this little gem. This was part of. Uh, I showed you that video just a minute ago where uh, I was in the garage 
and I walked into the shop and they had the table. She had $100 on it, I'd offer $75, and I was walking back and here's this incredible Victorian striped vase, all hand blown, I don't know who made it, it's probably European, ruffled edge, but that is a dynamite, dynamite vase. Let's see what else we have over here. Speaking of Victorian, here's a spelter or white metal as we call it, a Victorian lady, bust, look at her, she's... Golly, she's pretty tall. She's got to be about 12 inches tall. She's a big girl. And a nice white pot metal. She's not bronze. I like to find her in a bronze. But she, uh, I was walking in a, uh, a junk flea market. We have these flea markets all over now. They pop up. People put stuff in them. $30. Uh, $95, 100 a quarter for me. And uh, it'll be an easy sell in an antique mall. Found this one. I found that um, soda sign, soda fountain sign. Here's a Murano, little bud vase, all applied flowers, gold, just a pretty, pretty vase. Uh, just a nice little buy there, it was 15 bucks. Hey, this was cool, check this guy out. Rawr! Wayne Huston, Blinko, big giant blue decanter or bottle. Uh, I've only seen one of these before. Uh, I gave $90 for this in the shop. I assume pretty easy, two and a quarter. I'm going to put about $3.95 on it and uh, see what happens there. Or I might send it to eBay for two and a quarter, two and a half, um, and see if it has any interest. Sometimes these things sell better in person. Uh, Blake goes really way down in value right now, unfortunately. I, I, haven't, I can't find this one on eBay. I can't find one on any of my auction sites that have sold. Um, I'm, I mean, but... Even though some of this stuff is rare, people just don't pay the money they used to. I remember seeing an old uh, uh, PBS special where they pulled one out on the longest yard sale, you know, and a guy pulls out the big Blinko bottle. He's like, oh, four to $800. You just never see them. Here, one more little trinket. Don't know if you guys ever seen these, this uh, Hobart KitchenAid. I've had quite a few of these over the years. Now, I really like this one. Why? Well, because it's brown. I always find them in white. Uh, they're actually remaking these right now. You could you can buy them, but they're not the same. They just don't feel the same quality or anything. This is a vintage one, but you know what? My good friend Charles, if you're out there, Charles, Charles says, do you have the glass? No, Charles, I don't. Well, you need the drinking glass. Okay, Charles, can I have the drinking glass? Well, I have three. I haven't seen the drinking glass yet. Charles, give me the glass. Anyways, uh, here's your KitchenAid. Comes with a measuring cup, measuring glass, and uh, I gave 20 bucks for it, 79 to 89 dollars. Should sell pretty easy, just because it's brown, you know. And the next thing you know, it goes with your avocado green from the 70s, or your amber glass, you know, because it's brown and everybody's collecting that. So, anyways, uh, just a few of the trinkets around. I think you see what I have, you hear what I have, and uh, hey. Till we meet again, keep a song in your heart, guys.